Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, our topic for today is all about the mathematics of finance. Mathematics of finance introduction. Everybody uses money. Sometimes work for your money, and other times your money works for you. For example. Unless you are attending college on a full scholarship, it is very likely that you and your family have either saved money or borrowed money or both to pay for your education. When we borrow money, we normally have to <coughs> we normally have to pay interest for the privilege. When we borrow ma when we save money for a future purchase or retirement, we are lending money to a financial institution and we ex expect to earn interest on our investment. We will develop the mathematics in this chapter to understand better the principles of borrowing and saving. These ideas will, be, will then be used to compare different financial opportunities and make informed decisions. Uh, ito po yung learning objectives niya uh, at the end of this chapter the student is expected to differentiate simple and compound interest define credit cards, stock, bonds and mutual funds solve problems involving simple and compound interest and display perse per perseverance and patience in dealing with problems associated with the mathematics of finance The pain duration niya, and we have uh, two methods for converting time from days to years. So first is first is exact method. T equal to number of days is 360, 365. And the second is ordinary method. Uh, ito po yung mostly used by businessmen. And T equal to number of days 360. So, simple interest. Ang formula po ng simple interest is I equal to PRT. So, simple interest is a fixed percentage of the total amount invested paid to an investor each year for a total duration T, the money is invested. The principal P is the total amount invested and the fixed percentage is the rate at which the principal is invested. So, Variation of the simple interest formula. Kapag ang hinahanap ay, na, kapag ang hinahanap ay simple interest, ang ating formula nga sa ko kanina is I equal to PRT. At kapag naman rate ang hinahanap is R equal to I over P times T. At kapag principal naman ang hinahanap, ang ating formula is P equal to I over R times T. At kapag naman time Ang inhanap is T equal to I over P times R. Uh, always remember uh, na dapat ang time is always naka years. So, example number one. Anna deposit 20,000 in a bank that gives 10% simple interest. How much interest? Interest. How much interest she will receive after 30 years? So, ang inahanap po dito is interest. So, ang ating given is, ang ating principal is 20,000 and ang ating rate is 0 0.10 or 10% and ating time naman is 3 years. Solution. Madali lang tong simple interest times lang to times times. So, ang ating niyang uh, formula is I equal to PRT and 20,000 times 0 0.10 times 3 is equal to 6,000. Uh, ganun lang po kadali mag-solve ng interest. Then, at times lang po siya. And, let's go to the second example. 
Uh, Joshua borrowed 30,000 from the bank. If the interest he paid was 3,375 for 9 months, at what rate would he pay? So, ang hinahanap naman dito is rate. So, ang sabi ko nga kanina, dapat ang time natin is always naka years. Pero ang nandito is 9 months. So, i-go over natin yun siya mamaya sa 12. So, ang ating given is, P equal to 30,000. Yan ang ating principal. I always remember ha, na yung pagmalaki yung number na nandiyan is yun ang principal. And ang ating naman interest is 3,375 3, at ang ating time is 9 over 12 equal to 0 0.75. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina na dapat yung over natin siya sa 12 kasi since na 12 months naman yung meron sa years. Meron sa years. <laughs> so, ayan. Dapat i-over natin siya para maging years. So, 0 0.75. So, solution. R e ang formula is R equal to I over P times T. So, 3,375 over... 30,000 times 0 0.75. Ang una yung muna natin uh, isolve dito is yung 30,000 times 0 0.75. 3,375 over 22,500. So, ang ang answer dun sa 30,000 times 0 0.75 is 22,500. 22, so, isosolve dun natin yung 3,375 over 22,500 22, so ang answer is 0 0.15 or 15% so yun lamang po sir hanggang dito na lang po ang aking topic maraming salamat po have a nice they know all my money show I don't ever get it one way yeah thinner than I get it same day but hey Mathematics and Finance, Simple Interest Simple Interest is an interest charge that borrowers pay lenders for a loan. It is calculated using the principal only and does not include compounding interest. Simple Interest relates not just to asserting loans, it's also the type of interest that banks pay customers on their savings accounts. And the formula of simple interest is, is interest is equals to principal rate times. At kung ang hinahanap naman natin ay principal, ang formula na gagamitin natin ay principal is equals to interest over base times time. And Pag rate naman, rate is equals to interest over principal times time. And time naman, time is equals to interest over principal times rate. For example, Mrs. Gomez paid the bank 1,200 in back interest at 8% for 146 days, how much did she borrow? Mrs. Gomez paid the bank 1,200 in at 8% for 146 days, how much did she borrow? So first, write the given number. So the interest is 1,200 in back interest. Lagyan natin ng E dito sa my interest. Kasi ano siya? Kasi in back interest. Yun yung is 8%. Hindi natin pwedeng lagay dito 8% kailangan 
hmm, palitan natin ng decimal. So, kailangan natin i-substitute into 100. 8 divided by 100. 8 times 100 is 0 0.08. Kailangan natin tandaan na ang time ay lagi dapat naka -dipend. So, since naka days dito, kailangan natin i-substitute into years. So, yung exact interest natin ay 365 days kasi meron pa ng 365 days sa isang taon. So, 146 days divided by 365 days is equal to 0 0.4. Pangalawa, isulat natin yung formula ng nawawala. So, principal is equal to interest over rate and time. Ito yung formula natin. So, and as to interest is 1,200. Isulat natin over rate zero point eight lagay natin dito times one hundred four times zero point four yun time so kasi lang natin sa ibaba yung one thousand two hundred over tapos i time na times natin yung rate multiply natin yung rate at saka time 0 0.08 times 0 0.4 is equal to 0 0.032 tapos yung 1200 at saka yung 0 0.0 0.32 I-divide natin sila. Tapos, yung magiging resulta ay 337,500. Ito yung magiging principal natin. So, 37,500 is our principal. Halimbawa, how about if time yung nawawala? Okay. First, basahin muna natin yung problem ng mabuti at understand. Mrs. Carla borrowed 40,000 from a bank. The borrowed amount earned is 5,400 at 20% ordinary interest. How many days did it take Miss Carla to repay the loan? Miss Carla borrowed 40,000 from a bank. The borrowed amount earned is 5,400 at 20% ordinary interest. How many days did it take Miss Carla to repay the loan? So, sulat muna natin yung given. Yung given dito is principal is equal to 40,000. Yung interest natin is 5,400. yung rate natin is 20%. Yung sabi ko, 
sabi ko nga dito, kailangan natin i-decimal ko ito. Um, palitan natin ng decimal. Kasi hindi natin pwede sa diretsyo yung 20% dito. Um, 20% times 100 is equal to 0 0.20. So, since time ang nawawala, sabi dito, how many days will it take me to calculate the delay? Sulat lang natin dito in days. Gagamitin natin formula ay yung time is equal to interest over principal times rate. So, let me take it. Tapos, Tapos, solve na ba? Um, principal, principal natin ay 40,000. Interest natin ay 5,400. Rate is 0.20. Isulat na nata. And dito na. For... times in 400 over 40,000 times 0 0.3 0 0.20 yung rate 5,000 sulat lang natin copy sulat natin sa ibang mga then multiply natin yung 40,000 at 0 0.20 which is yung principal at rate 40,000 times 20 or 0 0.20 principal times rate is equal to wait again 40,000 times 0 0.20 is equal to 0 0.675. Ito na yung sagot. Pero, di naman natin pwedeng sabihin na 0 0.675 0 0.675 days, di ba? So, gagawin natin is i-over natin yung ordinary interest which is 360 which is yung exact interest naman is 365 yung ordinary is 360 so, i-multiply lang natin 360 0 0.675 times 360 is 243 days. So, ito yung exact time. 243 days. Salamat! Salamat! Dito, nakalimutan ko isulat yung resulta ng 40,000 times 0 0.20 which is yung principal times rate is equals to 8,000. So, 5,400 divided by 8,000 is equals to 0 0.675.
Good evening, sir. I'm Cinco Crisa May from BSF1A, and my report is about mathematics of finance compound interest. What is compound interest? Compound interest is the resulting value when the interest is periodically added to the principal, and this new sum is used as the new principal for a certain number of periods. In short, the interest is computed repeatedly for a certain conversion period. Compounding or conversion period is the time between the successive interest computation. The formula of compound interest is A equals to P times the quantity of 1 plus R over N raised to the power of NT. A is the compound amount or future value. P is the principal or present value. R for rate of interest and for the number of times the interest is compounded in a year. T is the time period. Before I proceed, let's familiarize first the following term by using this example to identify what is the following. To buy a smartphone for her son's online class, Martina went to her neighbor Tessie and borrowed 5,000 pesos at 10% interest for one year. Since Martina has to pay 5,500 pesos after a year, she plans to sell rugs as an extra source of income. Debtor, the person who borrows money for any purpose. Here, Mar Martina is the debtor. Lender is the person or institution which loans the money. Tesi is the lender. Interest is the payment for the use of borrowed money. You can get the interest by subtracting the 5,500 pesos with 5,000 and it is 500 principal, the capital or sum of money invested and it is 5,000. The rate of interest, it is the fractional part of the principal that is paid on the loan and it is 10%. Time or term is the number of units of the time for which the money is borrowed and for which interest is calculated and it is one year. One year. Final amount or maturity value is 5,500. It is the sum of principal and interest which is accumulated at a certain time. Present value is the amount received by the borrower which is 5,000. Sometimes the principal is called the present value. Conversion periods. Daily, N is equals to 365. Weekly, N is equals to 52. Monthly, N is equals to 12. Quarterly, N is equals to 4. Semi-annually, N is equals to 2. Annually, N is equals to 1. Example number one. An initial deposit of 100,000 pesos is made into a savings account that compounds 10% interest annually. How much is in the account at the end of five years? P is equals 100,000, R is equals 10%, T is equals 5, N is equals to 1. Here is the formula. A is equals to P times the quantity of 1 plus R over N times raised to the power of N and T. A is equals to 100,000 100, times 1 plus 10% over 1 raised to the power of 1 times 5. We will use the PEMDAS, the parenthesis, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. A is equals to 100,000. O unahong tapang solve, maaari na sakob na parenthesis. 10% divided by 1 is equal to 0.1 plus 1 is equal to 1.1. A is equal to 100,000 times 1.1 raised to the power of 1 times 5. A that times 1, 1 times 5 is equal to 5. A is equal to 100,000 times 1.1. 1.1 raised to the power of 5. 1.1 raised to the power of 5 is equal to 1.661051. A is equal to 100,000 times 1.61051 is equal to A is equal to 161,051.
Example number two. After five years of 10% interest compounded quarterly, an account has 163,861.64. What was the original deposit amount? T is equals to 5, R is equals to 10%, A is equals to 163,861.64, N is equals to 4. The formula is A is equals to P times the quantity of 1 plus R over N raised to the power of NT. A is equivalent to 163,861.64. Copy the P times the quantity of 1 plus R is equals to 10% 10, 10 and is equals to 4 raised to the power of 4 times 5. 163,861.64 is equals to P. Gin solve ang inaton adin, wala na ton anaka diya sa kumahan parenthesis. 10% divided by 4 plus 1 is equals to 1.025 raised to the power of 4.5. 163,864.64 is equals to P times 1.025 raised to the power of 20. 20, dini ni nakuha, 4.5. 4 times 5 is equals to 20. 163,861.64 is equals to P. Ini na answer na kuha, 1.025 raised to the power of 20 is equals 1.6386144. Para makuha ang P, valuehan P, kailangan natin i-divide both side in 1.63. 1.63861644 is equals to 99,999.99. divided by 1.63861644 is equals 99.99999.99. Compound interest. Compound interest, this is the resulting value when the interest is periodically added to the principal and this new sum is used as new principal for a certain number of periods. Sample. Find the maturity value and interest if 10,000 is deposited in a bank at 3% rate compounded monthly for 4 years. Given P 10,000 10,000 principal amount rate 3% or 0 0.03 time 4 years Compound, compounded monthly 12 formula final amount equals principal times 1 plus r over m raised to mt an interest i equals final amount minus principal Find the maturity value. Final amount equals 10,000 principal amount times 1 plus 0 0.03 over 12 raised to 12 times 4. Ko compute lang niya calculator. Ko compute lang niya ra. Tapos it answer Amen Kanan ini Kunig computer Calculator Tapos adi ko computer Ang atanan Ko computer ini 
10,000 times 10.0025 raised to 48 equals to 11,273.0025 iya final amount find the interest i equals f minus p 11,273.280 minus 10,000 answer in here nera konig minus Amade. Iya, final interest 1273.28. So, good afternoon, sir. So, here are the example of compound interest. You invest 2500 at annual interest rate of 5% compounded annually. How much will the investment be worth? after three years so the principal amount is 2500 the rate is 5% or 0 0.05 the compounded annually is one the time is three years so the formula is yes, e So two thousand two thousand five hundred one plus the rate zero point zero five. Bali po ang uh, annually yan ang time igta times na ito yung hira Bali, didi ibubutan ito na lang 1 times 3 1 times 3 1 times 3 tapos kaan 1 Copy the principal. 2500 times 1.05 1.05 Bali an e, an annual an annual ng time ego ka na igda times Bali 3 3 dd Okay. Okay. Tapos ga kapitan na lewat an principal 2500 Tapos ego Igta times ta inihiya by itself bali 1 equals so bali ang iyo answer is 1.1576 so iso sa rata 1 1.5 1.76 Bali, iniliwat in hira nga duha ig mo multiply nat ini hira 2,500 times 1.1576 mo multiply hira 2,500 2,500 times 1 
Bali, and your answer. So, with your answer is 2.895. So, an IA investment after 3 years is 2.895. Thank you. In conversion period, annually is equal to 1. Semi-annually is equal to 2. Quarterly is equal to 4. And monthly is equal to 12. Sa formula, ang ibig sabihin ng P ay principal, R is rate, T is time, and M is the conversion period. Example is, P is equal to 12,000, rate is 8%, or 0 0.08, and time is 2 years, compounded semi-annually. Another example, if principal is equal to 8,000 and the rate is 9% or 0 0.09 and the time is 5 years compounded quarterly. Good day everyone. My name is Anna May P. Badeo from BSF1A. Now, I presenting to discuss my assigned topic in subject mathematics in modern world. Now, I proceed to discuss discount. Discount is a deductions from the usual cost of something typically given for prompt or advance payment or to a special category of buyers. It also reductions in the price of a product or service often offered to customers as an incentive to make a purchase. It can be a percentage or a specific amount of the regular price. So I explained what I said, uh, what I can, uh, what I read about discount. So discount uh, now is uh this is our influences in our daily life uh a lowest price of one product or an uh specific uh specific to buy anything or in chatera so now i examples uh the our happening now is a uh, millennial a uh, millennial di uso na natin it ko ano yan na it mga online shopping through online uh, so nagkakamay ada kita gihapon ang uh, sinisiring na discount where is buying any product so napili kita nagkakamay ada kita hin uh, lowest price na sinisiring uh, in so now we proceed the finding discount Finding discount is having a formula. So, di kita makaka-find and discount kung warit natin sinisiring na formula. So, they have a discount uh, formula. D equals M 
RT. So, D in each uh, letter is having stand for. D is for discount. M is the maturity value. R is rate. T is for time. So, remember, uh, to find discount is may dagihapon mga proseso for rate ng time. And rate is kailangan natin i-convert ni natin na decimal. Time is depends in years. Para makuha natin is sinisiring na discount. But I have one here and examples. So, examples 1, Janine borrows $1,400 for 4 years at a simple interest rate of 15% per year. So, determine the discount. So, dito, um, so, dito, kailangan natin, uh, ig find and discount kaya mo't sinisiring didi ha, problem or situation. Uh, uh, so, before that, kailangan natin i-solve, uh, before that, kailangan natin ikaw not given. D is equals, so, amo um, man, missing the anay, kaya mo't discounted atin binibiling. M is equals to $1,400. Rate is 15%. Time is 4 years. So, we proceed to find solution. Copy our formula, the D equals MRT, and this follow the process for our formula. D is equals to anon aton maturity value, 1,400. So, di rin natin ikakapin ang dollars. So, follow the rate, 15%. So, magiging 0.15 hiya kay i-convert man natin ha, decimal. So, 0.15 na niya decimal. So, copy the 4, four uh, not cap, ayun na natin i-copy it years. So, D equals, so, 1,400 times 0.15 times 4 is equals to 8 uh, eight hundred forty dollars. So, amo po an discount. We proceed the second examples. This is the problem situations. Suppose you borrow six thousand dollars for six months at a simple interest rate of twenty percent per year. Determine the discount. So, din he uh, kailangan natin bilingon an discount uh, through in maturity value rate and the time. So, so it given this equals so, kay discount man at discount man at binibiling waray. M, maturity value is equals to $6,000. Rate equals to 20%. T is equal, equals to 6 months. So, we can the solution, find the solution. So, copy the formula. D equals MRT. Follow the process. D equals, ano na maturity value? 6,000. So, ang dollars din na natin ikakopy. So, proceed the rate. Ang 20%, ang i-decimal 0.2. So, 0.2 i-decimal natin. Tapos, the last is the time. 6 months man ang nakabutang, kailangan natin, it depends on years. So, in 6 months, 1 half la yaha years. Kay an 1 year, it i 12 months. So, 1 half la at igbubutang kay 6 months man la. So, di kita itong makakamultiply kung 1 half it at igbubutang. Kailangan natin niya igkunha through uh, equivalent. So, an 1 half, equivalent yan 0 0.5. So, we can multiply na. So, 6,000 times 0 0.2 times 0 0.5. So, ang magiging gawas, $600. So, ang discount, amuan, $600. Morning, sir and everyone. I am Angelica El Bacalado from BSF 1A. Our topic is Mathematics and Finance. My topic is Maturity Value. Maturity Value is a total of payback of principal and interest is known as the Maturity Value of a loan. It is the amount to be paid on a due date of a loan or the amount to be paid to an investor at the end of the period of which an investment has been made. Our formula is Maturity value equals principal plus interest. Example, if a loan is 50,000, 
had interest of 8,600, the maturity value would be found by adding the principal and the interest. So our our formula that gonna be used is MV equals P plus I. So our principal is 50,000 plus interest is 8,600. So equals 58,600. This is would be our maturity value as simple as that. So second, maturity value can be also calculated directly without first calculating the interest by using the following formula. Maturity value principal times one plus plus rate times time. So, when using the maturity value formula, the order of operation is first multiply rate by time, second add the one, and uh, third is multiply by the principal. Example, what is the maturity value of a loan for 25,000 at 11%? for two and a half years our formula would be M mv equals p times one plus r and t so our principal is 25,000 times one plus 0 0.11 this is would be 11 percent that already that already converted into decimal times 2.5 which is two and a half years so first step is to multiply rate and the time so 0 0.11 times 2.5 equals 0 0.275 so the second steps is add the 1. So, 1 plus 0 0.275 is equal to 1.275. The third is multiply the principal. So, our principal is 225,000 times 1.275 is equal 31,875 So this is our maturity value That's all, thank you